So I bought a Prius. Finally, we're gonna get to this Prius project. The goal is to replace the OEM BSU computer, which is what controls the battery uh, voltage, current, temperature, high voltage isolation, uh, resistance, all of those things. We're gonna replace this entirely so that we can use lithium batteries in Gen 2, Gen 3 Priuses and, and the like, the Prius C, etc. The nickel metal hydride Toyotas, basically. And we're gonna replace the nickel metal hydride computer, which is not safe for use with lithium, with something like this. This is a product for the Honda Insight. Uh, we're gonna make the same thing uh, that fits on this circuit board here. Uh, and we're gonna do that by, instead of having all of the cells measured on one board, we're gonna have one thing that controls it that's gonna replace the BSU that goes in the exact same mechanical enclosure and in the exact same location as the OEM BSU in the Toyota. And we're gonna take the 60 cells that we're monitoring here and put these on separate PCBs that are attached to the actual battery module instead. Uh, and this will give us supervisory control, which will allow us to safely add lithium to the nickel metal hydride Toyota Priuses. So we need to turn chicken scratch data that I gathered by hand from the differential RS485 serial bus on this Gen 3, and we need to turn that into code that will work with the car without upsetting the OEM computer. So let's see if we can do it. My goal is to get this to work on the very first try. Uh, probably won't actually get that. Okay, so this is the first attempt uh, to use LIBSU in the car. So I have no OEM BSU in here. I just have the LIBSU. So I will be generating all of the battery data we're giving to the computer. And uh, I guess uh, we should just see what happens. So foot on the brake, push the button. Hey, no triangle. But also no ready. Interesting. Well, I have no idea what this means. Usually there's a ready light that comes on. Here's all the data I'm generating on the um, laptop screen here. That's just hooked up to my LIBSU prototype. No DTCs found, but also no ready light. So no high voltage battery codes, no engine codes. All right, well, uh, we'll look at all this data. <laughs> I've made a ton of it and we'll see what we can find. Well, that is the first LIBSU attempt and it was unsuccessful, but that's okay. I honestly did not expect it to work. That would have been wild to have the very first attempt work. All right, this is the second LIBSU attempt. The uh, mistake I found in the first one is that I was converting the pack voltage from volts to millivolts. And even though I was saving it into a UN32 type, uh, the math was being done on UN16, so it was obviously overflowing. So I've fixed that issue. And interestingly, we didn't get any check engine lights, even though the car thought it was 1.4 volts per blade instead of you know 14 or 15 volts per blade. So let's see. If uh, this works, that's the fix I've done. See if it works. No, no ready light, but, hmm, okay. So something is still unhappy, but we'll figure it out. Well, we have more data to look at. All right, this is attempt number three. I had a, an array that needed to be volatile and um, it wasn't. So let's try again, let's see what's happening. Ooh, we got ready. Oh, nice. All right, cool. I uh, I think we should go for a drive. Let's do it. See if it works. I gotta move. Well, there goes the car. Uh, all right, give me one sec. All right. Ooh, I'm excited. Let's take the e-brake off. We're in reverse. So we will get the engine warmed up. And then once that happens, uh, we'll go into EV mode if we can stomach it. Uh, this is really exciting. Well, three attempts is what it took to get it driving. This is just a MVP proof of concept. This is not the final code. So there, there's gonna be a lot of work that needs to happen. 
granted, this code is pretty far along because it's just a fork of my existing code for the Honda Insight version of this same product. So yeah, right now we're driving up a thousand feet vertically, so this does a pretty good job of warming the engine up. So I think the engine will be warm enough. We're only about halfway up the mountain, but I'm gonna pull off here on, this is the only option you get basically. See if we can get this car to go into EV mode. Again, I don't really know the criteria, what it takes for that, but I feel, yeah, okay. So I am now in EV mode. Again, I don't know why it, it wouldn't do it before, but I tell you what, because of that, let's go uh, back the way we came. Uh, I think that we can stay in here up to 25 miles per hour now. I'm super happy that this code is working. Cool. Success. I love it. Here's the hardware I'm using for the proof of concept. Uh, this is not even a prototype. So I have the LIBCM PCB that is from the Honda Insight in here and the finished LIBSU will look nothing like this uh, because it will be the size of this PCB. Specifically, it'll be the size of the OEM BSU PCB uh, versus this like eight and a half by 11 that that is. And I'm also using a 10.4 kilowatt hour lithium pack right now. This is not the finished pack that will be in the car. Again, this is the pack out of the Honda Insight uh, that I've designed. Uh, but you can see that we are plugged in here to the OEM uh, eight or 10 pin connector. I think it's a 10 pin connector. And uh, that is the only interface that my entire product has with the car electrically. Everything else is mechanical. So here's, we have the uh, uh, pre-charge and charge contactor, the pre-charge resistor and you know, the fan stuff, all that stuff remains OEM. Just replacing this stuff here. This will be replaced with a pack that goes where the original pack in the car goes, so it won't be in the wheel well like this. Uh, and here you can see, if you look up front, that the car is in fact in ready in the bottom left corner right now, just so you can see I'm not faking it here. Um, but yeah, we are using our own firmware now instead of the BSU, which means we have complete control over the uh, pack current, voltage, temperature, uh, HVDC isolation, all the stuff, all the things the BSU does, uh, we can now do those for real in the car, uh, which means we can do it safely because we now have complete supervisory control. So that is the proof of concept here. Tomorrow we're going right into the PCB and uh, hopefully we'll get a Rev-A PCB in a few weeks. Thanks for watching.